Second down and 12. Horvath. Incomplete. No flags on the play at the 35-yard line. Malcolm Jenkins broke up that pass intended for Britt Davis. Malcolm Jenkins, number two for the Buckeyes, is their best cover corner. Somebody they'll be able to really rely on in the second year. And when the Buckeye defense brings heat, they usually do it in second and third and long situations. So the Huskies are going to have to get some things done on first and second down. They come with pressure. It's complete, but short of the first down. It's the offense. Going without that huddle here just to pick up some rhythm. McCoy keeps it. And Malcolm Jenkins. Going for it all. Swing. Grabs it. And a battle. Let's see. They're going to wave it off. Incomplete. Lima Swede. This time they try to take advantage of his great size at six feet five. Going up and over Malcolm Jenkins, the best cover corner for Ohio State. Malcolm Jenkins actually takes the ball away from Lima Swede. And then when they fell to the ground, nobody had possession. They, by the time they did, they're out of bounds. And Lima Swede that time got away, Kirk, with putting his left hand on Malcolm Jenkins' shoulder. Roots into the air. Down the sidelines. Poland trying to adjust. Interception. Malcolm Jenkins. The 45 yard line. Morelli, pretty good percentage of completion, but not gaining much out of it. And this one's knocked down as he. 135 yards for Tony Hunt. Now it's Morelli. Lofting one. Intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. Jenkins going the other way down the sideline. Ohio State might get a touchdown. They do the tight end right here he's trying to hit him on and out and he's looking at him only he didn't pick up the corner who fell off Jenkins saw it the whole way you know these are just things that young quarterbacks have to experience and go through they're in, they're reviewing this and he stayed in bounds to they see don't if need he to, stepped on the line he yes not even close and a 61 yard interception return by Malcolm Jenkins for the touchdown Jenkins, a sophomore, and look at the eyes, and look at the run back, and look at the balance, and the footwork to stay in bounds. You know, just one little coaching point that you really like when you look at a defensive back. Did you watch him go up and take this thing at the high point? Yep. He didn't wait on the ball to come down. He went up and got it. The strength of this Penn State offense. Todd told you earlier, Matt Trannon, the number one target of Stanton, out with an injury. Again, we see kind of a seniors who hang in there and don't complain about not getting the play. Powers throws, has it intercepted. Picked off. Malcolm Jenkins. Columbus doing a great job. First and ten for Minnesota. Moving the ball well on the last two plays, but picked off here by Jenkins. Malcolm Jenkins. The name of Dick Butkus down here to Champaign to start for the Illini. Pierre Thomas dropped for a loss. Buckeyes showed blitz, backed out of it, rushed forward, still put pressure on, and McPherson is ripped down for a loss back of the 33 by Malcolm Jenkins. Block punt to turn into another score. You can tack six more up. The shade, the throwback screen, and the ball is out. Who's got this one? Buckeyes. Here's Hart, stretch blocking, trying to get the angle, pushed out of bounds. Having done this many times. Comes back underneath the heart. Go to guy. Yes. He's been, all season he's been a go to guy. Second down and 10 for Lee. Baker will be tackled for a loss of one. Stomach there and just carried around the end himself. Third down and seven. Hit split to the near side. They try to set up the screen right there and nothing to him. Brought down at the 31 was a picture. The late screen looking left, coming back right to Arizari, who's a fine athlete, but nice job by 92, Todd Denlinger. The way he's playing it in four years, he's going to make a lot more money, though. Ball is pitched back. Great pursuit by Ohio State. Two games, and he's over 100 yards for the second game in a row. Well, he's really a force now. That pass intercepted. Jenkins picks it off. Tire time are locked to his side of the field. Of course, he's looking for Quentin Daniels, and you just cannot, with a guy like Malcolm Jenkins, four interceptions last year. 
They go to the air on first down, and it is incomplete. Third and long. Weber picked off at the three. Jenkins. Malcolm Jenkins got a block, and that's going to be a flag. And he runs out of bounds at the 20-yard line. We talked about interceptions. This is Adam Weber's ninth interception on the year mark, and he just telegraphed that one to Malcolm Jenkins. There's the clip right there, the block in the back by Donald Washington, number 20. After this is the goal. And there have been several occasions. First half, he's got to be more precise if he can't overthrow it like he did in the first half. There's Bryant, his first catch of the night, and it's for negative yardage. And so Curtis Painter and Purdue, they can't force the issue and try to continue to find ways to get him the ball because Ohio State led. Trying to take advantage of the block field goal. They want to throw a screen pass. Oh, you talk about man. blowing up a screen pass. Malcolm Jenkins said, you know what, guys? I see it coming. And you might as well not even try to block me because I'm going to go through it. But they pay attention. Watch this. They're going to run a screen out here to your right. Malcolm Jenkins, he sees it. He beats the blocker. With Ringer the tailback. He'll toss it to Ringer. Made the first man miss, but not the second. Nice play by Malcolm Jenkins, the corner. Second down and 10. Bad throw for a pick. And it's a pick six. Welling's right side drives right back into his face. He steps back as he's literally throwing the football. Well, this goes 62. Wolverine's being held to less than 100 yards against this Buckeye defense. And waiting and waiting for this <laughs> night to play. And an interception by Malcolm Jenkins. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Nova. Sandy stepped out of bounds. They're handing hope back to Ohio State. Flynn in the shotgun throws the route. His receiver breaks inside. He throws it to the outside. So it was a miscommunication and a great pick by Malcolm Jenkins. Coming right at you now. See where the route was thrown? That was Terrence Tolliver, the freshman, breaking inside. Flynn thinks he's supposed to be outside. Here. And he'll be fine as it goes along, but early in the game has let things settle down. Well, a nice throw, and was the receiver able to hang on? No. And just after he gets drilled, he stays in the pocket on a quick one, throws it out there, and put it in a nice spot. During her pregnancy and delivery. What a lick delivered by Malcolm Jenkins. The Buckeyes are up 3 nothing here on a third and 10, and that pass was thrown right into the arms of Malcolm Jenkins. Here's the matchup right down here. Watch him force the receiver inside and then fall back. And as he keeps to fall back, there's nothing in front of him down here to pull him back up. So he keeps dropping and gets underneath that corner route and makes the great play to get the interception. To the 35-yard line. Wisconsin with that 16-game win streak and home on the road. Thrown right into the arms of Malcolm Jenkins. It's always dangerous to throw back towards the middle of the field when you're rolling one way. He's rolling left. He's trying to make a play, and he throws it back towards the middle, and Jenkins is there for the interception. Just not a very good decision at that point in the game, that point of the field. Because of what happened last week against Penn State, his is, is, uh, adrenaline is weapon. It's blocked. Picked up by Ohio State. And he will score. And Malcolm Jenkins did an excellent job of coming off. He was out there as a corner on the speed guy on the rush, and he timed it absolutely perfectly. For the end of the stadium. And it's Purdue who is going with the sun in their face this quarter. Painter intercepted. Malcolm Jenkins. First a blocked kick and now an interception. Aycock. Coverage is there. They got a couple of guys out there late, but there's just nobody to throw to. And he, instead of throwing it out of bounds, he throws it right to Jenkins. And wonder if you're going to start seeing Joey Elliott warm up on the sidelines for Purdue. Fourth down, less than a yard. And a quick pass. Ball is knocked down by guess who? Big play here for Kirk Cousins. Looking right, look, look out. out, down he goes from behind, it's Jenkins, the ball is out, going the other way. Thaddeus Gibson might take it the distance and does.
Titans, touchdown, Ohio State. Well, you're going to see him come from the right side. It's the corner. He's up and bump. Gibson is there, but so is Jenkins. When you come from behind the quarterback, they, they all knock it loose nowadays. They all want to shake the ball loose from the quarterback. They did a great job. Well, the one thing, too, is that Ringer, Ringer is getting a block, but there were two guys coming. He can only take one. Here's the ball out. 69 yards, Gibson took it. Ringer was desperately trying to get there, but Jenkins, the guy that forced the fumble, got in his path. It looks like Boone helped Wells stay afloat, if you will, helped him keep his balance, gave him a little shove to keep him upright. As a Peterman lost the ball, and Ohio State recovers. Got to take care of number one on this, this play here. Eric Peterman, usually a sure-handed receiver, doesn't really do uh, or turn the football over a senior who's played a lot of football, kind of their do-it-all player. An excellent job there by the All-American Malcolm Jenkins of getting in there and stripping the football. Well, as we mentioned, in particular on those quarterback runs, uh, so we'll see some of that today from Juice Williams as that pass is knocked down by All-American defensive back Malcolm Jenkins. Don't forget Malcolm Jenkins, one of the best, and a lot of people have him rated as the best corner. Brian Hartline replacing Ray Small, who is suspended still for repeated violation of team rules as Ohio State blocks the punt out of the end zone. It goes for a safety. He takes entirely too long. Malcolm Jenkins in there too. McGee looking deep, going for Cumberland. And it's underthrown, and Jenkins got a hand on it. He loved the cookies. Third down and seven. Sheridan going to go deep down the sideline this time. Guy there. Broken up, though. Here's the isolation. Matthews on Jenkins, See, and he, he ran right by him. Yeah, if he lays the ball out in front, but he has to come back for it, 